And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu the Winner. It's going to be our last deck in Meme Tier Tuesday today. That's right, we got Meme Tier Tuesday. Yes, Harvey. <laughs> Harvey's here. She's wanting to be pet. You can see her. But yeah, usually we have Meme Tier Monday. Didn't have the stream yesterday, so we're going with Tuesday. This one is combining Jack the Winner and Lulu together. And this is what we came up with combining those two cards together. Basically, if Lulu levels up, you get a free card at the beginning of the round start. Jack the Winner also gives you a free card at the beginning of the round start. So that's kind of why, the, why we're playing these two, is we're getting free cards at the beginning of round start. So we're gonna have an, an aggressively slanted deck with a bunch of support, because we need support to level up Lulu. So we have Young Witch and Herald of the Spring. I guess just of Spring, not of the Spring, but just Herald of Spring. Um, they can provide some life steal. So we got those for support, and then Fuzzy Caretaker also doing some supporting. Um, another champion that works really well whenever you're supporting it is Zed. So Z Fuzzy Caretaker can give like the Zed plus three plus zero this round, so it can be a six two attacking. So that's a good attacker. Um, also Jaw Hunters, amazing with support. You know, like maybe Jaw Hunter, maybe we have like Young Witch into Jaw Hunters and give Jaw Hunters plus one plus zero and quick attack. That's also a really good combination. Um, so we got those, or like Lulu can make the Jaw Hunters like a 4-4 instead of a 4-1, so it can challenge and stay alive. So we got those, and then we want extra attacks. So we got a, one Playful Trickster to try this out with the Rally, and then two Citrus Couriers to hopefully have the Plunder enabled and then a Rally. We're not really turning on Plunder any particular way, maybe make it rain. So basically just doing damage to them. Um, but hopefully we are able to do that and get some rallies. We get some extra attack with our supports and also extra attacks with Zed. Also very good. So that's our deck. We're going to go play it in normal. Let's see how we do. All right, Demacia and Freljord with Fiora. This could be just all in Fiora. That would be pretty cool. Um, let's see. What do we want against all in Fiora? Do we want Jack the Winner? Do some round start damage. We don't need Herald of Spring. Like, we just don't need Lifesteal against an all in Fiora deck. Your life total isn't what matters. I need, like, Twin Disciplines. Like, I need interaction like that. Protection kind of thing. Jaw Hunters to challenge Fiora is good. Looks like we're going to have our Herald of the Springs and a Flower Child do some attacking. But two twos against the three three isn't amazing. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. Let them eat souls. Try me. Tough. It's a good chance that kills Fiora. All right, good. It's very important. All right, so they'll have another Fiora. This Will of Ionia is amazing in this matchup also. The thing about Zed, <clears throat> if I play Zed, they could have one of the one mana cards to uh, protect Fiora with. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I don't think there's a one mana card that saves Fiora here. Why'd they play that before combat? Is there? Oh, Elixir of Iron. Right, 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 right. I was just thinking of the Demacia ones. Throughout the Freljord one with the Elixir of Iron. All right. Fair enough. Strike quickly, strike death on guard. Their plan's Barrier. We got Mega Rain. Their plan's Fury of the Nord. We just bounce it. Reset it. Lulu. Blow me, Lulu. Blow, this is blow. Hi, Glow. I like your paddles. Always 
Two steps ahead. Wait, is that a family frog? Oh my gosh! Go on, Rib! You told me to say hello. Hello. This way! Alright, support, support, support. That looks good. So Fiora can either block a 4-4 quick attack. Or a 6-4. Supposed to be a challenge. Counter and Good. strike. And then I have my mana for Maker Ring. So we should have this from here. That's two Fioras down. They're gonna need like Fiora plus judgment <laughs> kind of thing. They're gonna need some help. Picks. Yeah. All right, good hand for us. GG's. Will of I am. Yes, Choo Choo, if, if uh, Fiora is at three kills and you Will of Ionia, it, it will be back to zero. Even It'll be leveled up, yes, but it'll be zero out of four as far as that is concerned. I don't know, I kind of like all these cards, but it's just, it's slow, you know, like we don't have anything until turn four. But Twin Disciplines can be really important. Maybe I'll just mulligan the Caretaker, see if we have anything on turn one or turn two. But we could just save up the Twin Disciplines mana turn one, turn two. I'm probably not even going to play the Herald of the Springs. Let's just save our mana for Twin Disciplines. Oh, that card's really annoying. We protect these woods as they protect us. Yuck. Hmm. Pledge yourself to the shadows. You smell something. Ready, boy? I just have to kill this battlesmith. And so I think I want to do that with Zed. Bad repost. Alright, there we go. Here I am. Wherever here is. Awesome. He smells something. Yeah, taking another six. Looks like it. Perfect. And I just basically I want to keep Twin Disciplines available as well. But they haven't they haven't demonstrated having single combat. So I can Herald of Springs to give something lifesteal. Or just make this attack and level up Zed. Let's do this. Good. Don't get in my way. Get in your way all at once. Hurt. 
So I'm down to four. We got the life steal. So we're good there. Wenray! Thank you so much for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype votes in there. Thanks, Cabo. Getting some hype votes in there for our brand new sub. That is awesome. Thank you so much there, Wen. Ooh. That could be good. Um, so I kind of want to play this Caretaker, but I think we just attack. All right, so we're going to have uh, this support this. And then support that. Uh, we'll challenge over here. All right, GGs. So our Zed was going to be the exact same, so I think it should have, like, both Zeds should have the life steal. <laughs> hey, Wenray. Hope you're having a very good Tuesday. Thanks for that support. Ooh. Twisted Fate. This is a good deck. Another sub! A sock monkey! Another brand new Twitch Prime sub! Wow, two in a row. Y'all get some hype in there. Thank you, sock monkey. Uh, we're going to... I think we're going to mulligan Zed. Lulu. It's hard to... Our champion spells whimsy, right? Yeah. It's hard to protect Zed against Twisted Fate Swain. They have so much good removal. I'm going to just keep one Lulu and see what else we got. Oh, that's awesome. Thank y'all. Four subs on the day. Okay, let's start with Enough Jacket Butcher. The stink of blood and sweat. The day don't need riches. Maybe no Make It Rain or Twisted Fate. <clears throat> Both of those kill my young witch way too easily. Maybe they have no Make It Rain and no Twisted Fate. Rude. I'm going to lead with Zed over leading with Lulu because of Petty Officer. It just seems like they always have Petty Officer on turn three. Yeah, but then I play this and they have Death's Hand. They'll just have whatever, they'll just have whatever the best card is against me, I guess. If I would play Lulu, then they would play Petty Officer and they'd have the 3-2 block my 2-3. That's how it goes. I'll burn for what I've done. Never lost a fair game. No. I'm a people person. Well, that tasted purple. And that's why I love with the 2 2. Ooh, I like having Deny. Having Deny is really nice. Easy. We are kind of even on cards. I got four in hand, the two in play. Ooh, not even on cards anymore. We don't have to play this fuzzy caretaker right now. I'll just keep the mana for deny up. Oh man, citrus courier could be sweet. I'm always up for a round or two. No, I would not nerf Radiant Guardian. The dead don't need riches. All right, they should definitely get damage across, right? I think so. And then maybe we get to pet maybe we get to Citrus Courier. You're bluffing. Yeah, these kind of Bilgewater Noxus decks that do a bunch of damage. There's they could do so much damage and Nexus damage. They're already really good. I don't think that I think that Radiant Guardian's kinda of necessary. I don't think nerfing Radiant Guardian would be a good idea. Victory awaits! My hand 
Noxus rise. Don't think I won't unmake you because I will. This my ship. So let's see. Guess we're going. No problem. Turns that into a six-two. So they can block the six and the five. They die. Okay. They die. Oh, don't get too close. All right. Good job, Citrus Courier. Yeah, I'm sure. That's a good win here. You know, squeak it out before they could, you know, finish finish uh, stabilizing and killing us. That's a good win. That's a good deck. They had a good hand. That was a really good win for our Lulu the winner deck. Citrus Courier support. All right. We got this matchup again. GG's. All their spells are burst. Feels weird to mulligan Lulu. Cool. Love Will of Ionia. Just take the Lulu, I suppose. Are right, we gonna draw a two drop? I don't know. Let's see. I just don't I don't love having one mana 2-2 two, two against a Fiora deck, right? Like, it just gives them a kill where they don't have to use a spell. I kind of want them to have to use a spell for every kill that Fiora can get. Always two steps ahead. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. All right, Zed. Hitting twice, or Lulu Flower Child. Well, I'm definitely playing Flower Child. Now this gives me the opportunity to cast Will of Ionia. No, let's. Should we just start Lulu Flower Child? But then I guess Lulu turns in. Lulu's just a two-three. I just played a one-two. Yeah, let's go Lulu Flower Child. It's a tough call. Um, Zed hits for six plus the one for Flower Child is seven. That hits for six. Fell into him. It's a tough call. I could also could also pass the turn and then they waste their mana. But I think, oh no, this hits for eight. So yeah, never mind. This hits for more. Just the way I right. like it. Save Mega Rain to break up a barrier. Put that back in their hand. Do not fear the shrouded path. Or the path with the talking lilies. <laughs> Good, no single combat. Good. Well, that doesn't do anything. Wait, is that a familiar frog? Oh my gosh. Go on, Rib. Don't mean to say hello. Hello. Judgment, of course, is a card. I just die to judgment if I try attacking with everything. Those two cards wouldn't die to Judgment. They follow the wrong master. I should have had Lulu support the Young Witch, and then the Young Witch support the Flower Child. I should switch these two. Well, thought, yeah. well, worst case scenario is they had that card. Easy. I forced them to have that, otherwise they were dead. They did have it. 
So now I guess I'm likely dead. Maybe I just attack with just the Jagged Butcher instead of the 3 2. With Zed. I'm certainly hoping they just didn't have judgment. I'll just attack with the 2 2. I mean, I think. Okay. So if I would have had Lulu. I still would have blocked, killed it. So I should have had Lulu. Uh, yeah, I basically. I. Really, what what I where I messed up there? I think I think actually attacking with the Zed was good. I think I just I messed up with the supports like I talked about afterwards. If I would have had Lulu support the Young Witch and have the Young Witch support the other thing, I guess the other thing would have then died. No, actually, no, we we couldn't do that. Never mind. Anyway, Ezreal Swain, definitely annoying at uh, killing these small things. We're gonna get rid of the Young Witch because of that. We're gonna save Twin Disciplines to protect. While Jaw Hunters dies very easily, Jaw Hunters does replace itself. And so therefore I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, the one drop would not have survived at that point. The the if I would have supported like that, the, the one drop would not have survived. Um not here, the shrouded path. From the judgment. Don't blink, or you miss me. I have many faces. So already dropping down as my skill is unrivaled. This would be a great matchup to draw retreat return, especially with our hand, how it looks. Retreat return would be awesome. It's not or just more mega rains. Yeah, if we had Retreat Return, sure. that would be a game. Mega Rain is our worst possible card in our deck to draw. <laughs> so we've drawn three of them. Darkness. This is the worst card in our deck. Maybe they tap out? No, sea monster. <laughs> it's Terror of the Tides is the worst sea monster to make. <laughs> so they just have. They're having very good cards, and I'm having the worst possibles. One shot, all skill. Well, just, I'll just play all those. Hey, Mr. Toastleaf, going very good. Hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, we do. We need. We do need to win this one to keep our our streak of one fours and four ones. Our daily streak. We do need to win this game, don't we? It's not looking good though. Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess we got some stuff. Okay, yeah, it's not looking good. We both have two cards, but we also have a 3-3 in play. To get rich. Dang. And it was looking good. If only we would have got like a good sea monster, like any of the other sea monsters. I think it only costs four mana. Glory, excuses for war. 
bounce it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I could have maybe won that... that... I think that last game I probably could have won. So if I play Butcher into Monster, let's then play a 2-7 of blocks. So they can have a 2-3 and a 2-7. I think that's okay. Come on. One mana removal spell. Almost had him down to one. They didn't have that one mana mystic shot. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Grand General. Well, even though we've drawn a. We've drawn basically the worst thing we could draw for a really long time, right? Because then we just drew Jagged Butchers. Like, we drew, like what are our last draws that we've had? It, it was just like Triple Make It Rain. And then after Triple Make It Rain is whenever we drew, what, either two or three Jagged Butchers and then Herald of Spring. Like, before that Deny, that was like six draws in a row of our worst cards. <laughs> so that is... That's kind of crazy that we still almost almost won. Our streak was broken. Three and two. We still did very well with this Lulu the winner deck. Yeah, I mean, one retreat, the game was over if we drew a retreat, that's for sure. Man, a playful trickster would have been nice. Jack would have been amazing. Yeah, but anyway, there we go. So there's Lulu and Jack the winner together getting support and rally. With a little bit of Nexus damage. Um, Jaw Hunters was an all star for sure in those games. It's diff the Fiora, the all in Fiora deck is a difficult deck to play against. I, of course, wish I would have done different things, but go back and replay it. But that is a difficult deck to play against. It's not, not, <clears throat> not an easy one. Um, Herald of Spring wasn't that good. We didn't really play against. Um, aggro decks were what really helped out against. But you kind of just need some more support cards to help out Young Witch. That is probably the weakest card in our deck. Alright, anyway, that's Lulu the winner. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you have any ideas for next week's Meme Tier Monday, feel free to put them down in the comments or any other comments. The comments really help out the channel, and I appreciate them a whole bunch. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Lulu the winner, and I'll see you for the next video.